So today we are reading from Shri Shri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, verse number 8. When can I become the broom for sweeping the courtyard of the cottage in the play grove of Maharaja Rishabhanu's daughter, who is an ocean of rasa, and to whose maidservants the supreme male person who wears a crown of peacock feathers always pitifully prays for her audience. When can I become the broom for sweeping the courtyard of the cottage in the playgrove of Maharaja Vrishabhanu's daughter, who is an ocean of rasa, and to whose maidservants, the supreme male person, who wears a crown of peacock feathers, always pitifully prays for her audience. Radhe, before we continue, maybe we can just enter a little bit deeper in the words and feel the mood of the words and the words of Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati, who is Radhika's maid servant. And this is one of the first verses, eight words from Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. And in the beginning of this beautiful book, Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, these beginning words is very clearly explains and gives insight of Acharya's heart. His prayer in the form of these words is a very humble and full of eagerness. And how we know that? How we feel it that? He is saying, when can I become a broom for sweeping? So in the beginning, he's ex expressing his desire to become a broom. It's very humble prayer. He doesn't say, I immediately I want to be your maidservant. He said, I want to be Marjana. I want to be broom. And immediately, when I read these words, I remember the big, one of the first verses in the beginning of Vilapa Kusumanjali, where Raghunath is starting to make seva, morning seva. He just starting, like a Tulsi Manjari, to make morning seva in the bathroom of Shimati Radharani. He is starting this morning seva by praying, actually, that he can serve the bathroom, toilets, bathroom of Shimati Radharani. 
He wants to clean this bathroom. He wants to wash this bathroom. And he wants to meditate how he's drying the floor of this bathroom with his open hair. So when we enter deep in the emotions of Acharyas, immediately we can be connected with their hearts. And through this, automatically, without endeavor, we can be connected with their Manjari Bhav mood. So this is just a menial service to clean something, to clean the floor, to clean the courtyard, to clean the room, bathroom, and so on. And by learning these menial services, starting from menial services, devotee slowly and surely can learn how to be expert in all other services. Because by meditation of this simple menial service, Sadaka, practice humility, practice eagerness and connection with those who are already on that stage of perfection. So sometimes maybe we are meditating on other services. It's also perfectly all right. But we should Never forget, there are so many menial services which are very important for serving Shimate Radhika and also for serving Yugala Kishore. And Prabhupada Saraswati here is Radha 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 Rasa Sudhaniri is giving us the hints and direction how to humbly and eagerly we can see ourselves like a maidservant and he's going one step further and say no i want to see myself like a broom so this is the great sign Amazing sign of humility, natural humbleness. And now, if we start to think about broom and the role of the broom in the seva, we can understand that broom cannot clean by itself. Broom needs someone to hold it, to use it like an instrument, like a tool, to clean Nikunja. So, in this prayer, Prabhupada Saraswati, as I can feel he wants to be instrument broom in the hands of eternal radicus maidservant please use me for your seva and that will be my seva to be used And then he continues where to be used by sweeping Nikunja. Of whom? Daughter of Maharaja Vrishobhan. 
I want to be used in the hands of her maid servants. And this is the perfection of my life in Sadaka Vish and also in Siddha Vish. Because she is daughter of Maharaj Rishabhan, she is the princess. You know, everyone's duty is to serve the prince and princess. All Rajavasis are serving prince and princess, knowingly or unknowingly. They serve. This is the duty also of Rajavasis. So Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati is praying that Radha, that daughter of Maharaj Rishabhana, I want to serve in her playground. And he continues in his work in, by his sweet nectarian words, explaining who is this daughter, giving some just short hints about essential of her qualities. She is the ocean of rasa. And to whose the maidservant supreme male person, supreme God. And now listen this. Who wears a crown of peacock feathers. Always pitifully prays for her audience. So Prabhupada Saraswati is glorifying Radhika, who is ocean of rasa, and he she is so special, she is so sublime that even supreme male person wants to be her maid servant. And it said, supreme male person who wears crown peacock feather. This is little joke, joking words, sarcastic words. He said, first supreme personality of God, he is supreme male who is wearing peacock feather. If someone is supreme, he should wear crown full of jewels. Not peacock feathers. But Prabhupada Saraswati wants to say how much Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, left all his Aishwarya mood in Vraja. And by wearing the peacock feather, he's subdued by the love of Rajavas. And he doesn't want to be supreme male, supreme personality of God. And then what he's doing? Vishnu Priya? Is, oh yes, okay. And what he's doing? This supreme male who is wearing peacock feather, Prajendra Nandana, he is pitifully praise to Manjaris for Radhika's audience. So this is the mood of these words and each of us should beg for the mercy to go deep in this ocean of these words. Because each word, each syllable is like an ocean. And it's not just poetic words, explanations. This is a relishable reality, transcendental 
reality. So I just wanted to make some introduction to get some mood from the words. And I'm sure my God sisters and brothers also have their own ex impressions and feelings. If Gurudev wants to share something with us, no. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. please continue. Okay, I can share something. Yes, yes. <clears throat> I hesitate always a little, waiting for others to share. So yeah, this is the beginning of the Radha Rasa Sura Nidhi. And humbleness is always the beginning of spiritual life. <clears throat> and we see so many examples from our acharyas, how they practiced humbleness to <laughs> highest extend like i remember so many stories like raghunath das Goswami, he collecting the prasadam from the place where they throw the garbage <laughs> and where the cows are feeded there he take his little food remnants Jagannath Prasad. This is extreme <laughs> level of humbleness. Sanatan Goswami, I think, he got this leprosis. He, be, he got very, very sick. His body full of bulbs and blood and liquid coming and open skin and from his he see the worms <laughs> eating from his body and <laughs> one worm fall down and out of humbleness he he took the worm and put back <laughs> that the worm also can continue eating Haridas Thakur, how humble he was taking birth in Muslim family, never can enter to have darshan of Jagannath, only sitting outside and crying. <laughs> so there are so many extreme examples of humbleness. That is the beginning of spiritual life. <clears throat> and this brooming, to become a broom, or to clean the toilet, like Raghunath Tulasi Manjari doing in the beginning of Bilap Manjari. These are considered very low jobs low job. It's like untouchable. Sweepers in India, no? brooming the streets, is very low job. Or cleaning the toilets is very low job. So you only can do that if you kind of humble. With big ego, if you are proud, you will reject those kind of services. But if you want to become Dasi of Radharani, then 
you cannot reject and you even you enjoy to do that kind of service because it's about cleaning <laughs> i'm cleaning the place where radharani is coming in or living but i also i clean my heart i clean myself by doing that i remember also the gundicha leela of mahaprabhu when jagannath come out and going <laughs> on his chariot and going to gundicha mahaprabhu with all the devotees they cleaned the temple with lots of waters again and again in every corner like taking a brush na, and cleaning everything <laughs> in detail to clean my heart that krishna may come and take a place take a seat <laughs> in my heart so yeah and before we start speaking we also we pray always to gurudev and to all vaishnavas and to the parampara and to radharani and nita goranga because we are the smallest I'm only living in the mercy. Oh my Jnana, I was born blind <laughs> in darkness and ignorance. So before I open my mouth, I give respect to all the devotees and acharyas who teach me something. Otherwise, <laughs> my mouth should be closed <laughs> radhe radhe very much gorakh chandan so good please continue rasmi The greatness of Radhika's maidservant. In the previous two verses, <coughs> the sweetness of the Vasanti Rasa, Krishna's fernal Rasa Lila, was revealed to Sri Prabhupada. Sri Krishna had abandoned all the gopis that were his heroines in the rasa dance and went to relish the sweetness of raseshwari's moonlike face in a lonely kunda in the previous verse Shripada lost that vision so he prayed for the vision of Radhika's sweet face now Shripada's heart floats once more on the waves of prayer into that kingdom of transcendental pastimes he gets the visions of these pastimes by shrimati's grace not through his own endeavors his visions are spontaneous and in them it is as if he directly faces radha and krishna
Radhe Radhe. Jainand Maharaj, do you want to share something, please, on this paragraph? If something is coming to you, it would be nice to hear. So here I mentioned the <coughs> Basanti Rasa. It is say, Acharya say, and uh, sometimes we know, like uh, Kartik time, Sharat Purunima Rasa dance. <coughs> <coughs> Here, like spring times, Lhasa dance. And I think Narayan Maharaj said, told us, uh, this is Basanti uh, Rasa. Uh, there is more, what I say, more experienced gopis is dancing. And uh, this Shripada uh, see Krishna abandoned all gopis and uh, went to relish the sweetness of La Seshwari, Radhika's moon-like face. So many things happening, Lhasa dance, and uh, Krishna is, uh, in Bhagatam mentioned, Krishna is uh, a Yogeshwara, so Krishna could uh, dance each of gopis. And uh, every gopis, Krishna sometimes deal each gopis equally. But it causes sometimes Radhika become unhappy. Because Radhika is always special. <coughs> Radhika is feeling a little bit uh, neglected. So, and then Krishna actually took Radhika and also disappears. So this mentioned Krishna, Krishna's most beloved is Raseshwari, Radhika. So Krishna dancing, Rasa dance. But uh, this Raseshwari, who is most beloved gopi, without Raseshwari, Krishna would not be satisfied. So Shripada was watching this vision. And uh, actually, this Gopi, Gopi later on realized who is, the, who is most beloved Gopi in Vrindavan. So, Shripada also could see Shrimati Radhika's moon-like face in Dondi Bawa. And then floating um, in the wave of Dira Rasa.
and the just mentioned this vision coming from Srimati's grace. Not our endeavor. This is a very interesting point. Any leader or any vision or any some spirit or any dreams all come to the mercy of Shurimate Radhika. Because Radhika is uh, Chitta Shakti and Radhika is Fradini Shakti. Radhika's mercy we could reveal our Swarupa and Radha Mohan Swarupa also. So really we need the mercy of Radhika. And this mercy of Radhika is coming from our Guru Manjari and our uh, acharyas in our parampara. So especially this vision is spontaneous and uh, all mercy of Srimatis. This is very uh, amazing and uh, we want to beg this mercy just a little bit. Rade, rade. Thank you so much for these explanations. If someone wants to add something. Or maybe we can continue. Please, Rasamai. Srimati revives the fainted transcendental youthful cupid of Vrindavana, Sri Krishna, by sprinkling him with the nectar of her own bodily company, playing amorous games in a decorated bower house with him. Nagara becomes naughty when she becomes naughty and Swamini goes mad of love. She cannot get enough of playing with Krishna who is the amorous mellow personified. Mohana also loses himself when he is served by the unprecedented ingredients of Madhanarasan, the topmost loving ecstasy of Shiradika. He is like a beggar sitting in a palace hoping to get a meal. Swamini is his art teacher who teaches her submissive hero the arts of Sringarasa, the amorous mellow. Maybe we can stop here because so many things are here mentioned in this commentary. And maybe we can a little bit share about this and try to share, to make a little clearer what's really going on and in which emotional mood are both Radha and Mohan. 
So Baba is saying that Mohan is loses himself when he is served by the unprecedented ingredients of Madan Rasa. The topmost loving ecstasy of Sri Radhika. So this ecstasy which Radhika is pressing is the sign of her deep love for him. And this is the sign of her desire to give him a pleasure. She is in ecstasy, not because she wants to enjoy her own ecstasy. And she wants to be pleased by her lover. This is not mood of Shimati Radhara. Mood of Shimati Radhika is to give him, her lover, so much ecstasy that he faints because she is embracing him, kissing him, talking to him sweet, amorous words, and so on, and so on, and so on. And the more Mohan's bliss is increasing, she is becoming more mad and mad. So this is the Madana Rasa, when they are united, when they are together. But Radhika and her Madan Rasa has some very special speciality to say. I don't know how other way to say. She is the only one who has this ability of Madana, Mahaba. And one of the ingredients which gives Krishna special pleasure and happiness is when they are together because of strong emotions. In one moment, Radhika thinks that they are separate. And when Mohan sees this kind of madness, he is enjoying by looking at her face and sometimes her words, which are sounds completely mad. It's not the sober words at all. But in that moment, she is so sweet and so beautiful and so bright because of these intense feelings that she is splashing him with this extremely strong light of their feelings from all her body. And in that way, she is drowning him in this Madana Ras. So this is very unique, extraordinary quality of Radharani's Mahabhav. And when we touch with our ears and our heart, this feeling of Radharani, maybe some drops through her maidservants will come in our heart. Maybe. And this is a great fortunate persons who can feel it.
So this separation in unity is the one of greatest speciality of Radhika's artful loving mood. Because there are different separations. But this is the madness. Complete madness. Different kinds of separation can be soothed. You know, because this is separation. And when the lover is thinking very intensely of beloved, his heart or her heart is breaking. But in the moment when the lover appears and they hug each other or touch just each other, immediately separation is disappearing. But in Madana, mood, even when they are together, this painful, heartbreaking separation is just bursting out suddenly, completely suddenly, without any plan from Radhika's heart. And she is afraid. Where is my beloved? when he will come, and so on, and so on, and so on. So by the mercy of our Manjari Acharyas, we can receive at least this drop, which is Radha Rasa Sudhani, the ocean of Rasa, or Asadaka and try to dive through our bhajan and through our surrendering. Mm. Yeah, I said something. I felt, I said, I'm sorry if I made a mistake. Please forgive me. You make big mistake. Yes, Gurudev, sorry. I'm full. You make mistake, you get the heart of everyone. <laughs> but I cannot understand you explain. My God, where you learn these things? Where I cannot reach, you are reaching my dear. Surprising. I'm very happy. What should I do without you? Well, I'm, I'm in love with you. <laughs> yeah. This is my fortune that at least you are a little bit thinking on me. Otherwise, all my words, all my endeavors are useless. Yes. I'm sorry Thank for you. my arrogance. Thank you. Thank please, you. brothers, please, brothers, help me. Don't leave me like this. Here we also can see in this part what Goranga Sunna just explains so beautifully the three reasons why Mahaprabhu appeared. Everything is there. Krishna, he cannot understand the power of Radharani's life. He faint. <laughs> he has no idea how powerful her love is. Reason number one of Mahaprabhu coming. He also don't understand his own sweetness that Radharani sees in him. He is watching her 
how much she relished by giving love to him. He thinks like, I must be very beautiful because she experienced so much happiness by giving love to me. That we also find here. And then the relishment of Radharani, how she gradually becoming mad by experiencing that he becomes more happy and happy and happy. He is going more in ecstasy and ecstasy by her love. And through that, she also going more and more. And more. Without limitation, <laughs> there is no end to that. So here in this short part, all the three reasons of appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are there. Okay. Radhe, thank you, Gorachandra. This is the entering in Mother Naras of Radha Mohan. When the things just starts to appear, appear in the heart of devotee and his consciousness, then he is bathing in this Radha Rasha Sudhaniri. Thank you, Gorachandra. Only by your mercy, everything. You are talking to Gurudev. <laughs> so, Gorasa. Yes, yes, Maharaj. Please help us, save us. No, no. Actually, I'm I'm finding from you. So I, I'm feeling Nagara become naughty when she become naughty. So that is uh, like uh, usually Mohan is Purusha, try to enjoy, enjoy her. And Radhanani is a uh, Purusha, uh, no, no, a uh, Prakriti, uh, enjoyed. But if love is increasing, then Sne, sneha man pranaya. So they are like oneness. Sometimes Radhika become like Krishna. Sometimes Krishna become Radhika. And uh, sometimes they are feeling, touching, but uh, not say Radhika feeling, Mohan touching, no, oh, I'm touching my body. Sometimes Mohan is thinking, Radhika is touching, but no, this is my hand. So they become unity. And uh, they are kind of uh, oneness. And Goranga Sundaraji explain very nicely. I don't understand also Madana, but uh, some Acharya say, Madana is in union but feeling separation. This is completely amazing. Union, but feeling separation. So Gorang Sandra explained very nicely. So, and this, even Mohan could not understand. Even, even Radhika also understand what's going on. Because Radhika is feeling so high. Manjari was thinking, oh, she became so much ecstasy, become crazy. So this is Madana. This is very, very difficult to understand, but uh, same union, but separation. And this also interesting. Swamini is art teacher. And uh, Krishna becomes submiss submissive. 
Krishna is usually enjoy and he can do anything. He's Purusha, but his Krishna becomes submissive, Dakshina, because of Radhika's Mahababa. He was completely subordinate, this love. This is a very amazing story because Radhika become like Krishna. Krishna become like Radhika, submissive, means student. Hero become like a student. <laughs> so Radhika the Prema Guru, Amishishanat. This also possible because this of Mahababa, especially Madanakya Mahababa. This I want to read a little bit and rather than that. Swamini is his art teacher who teaches her submissive hero the arts of Shingarasa, the amorous metal. And Jananda Maharaj explains so nicely, so con in condensed way, actually, how Radhika is teaching her lover. I just wanted to say that. Sripad, in his form as a maidservant, looks through the latticed windows of the Kuncha and is blessed by seeing these sweet pastimes. How wonderful is the course of love. Suddenly, Swamini changes her mind. She mercifully remembers her hundreds of girlfriends that were searching for her and Krishna in that Rasa night and thinks, Alas, how sweetly we are playing here. How sad that my girlfriends cannot relish this. The Lila Shakti, pastime potency, made Srimati change her mind so that her pastimes, so that the pastimes of the Yuga Lakishore could be enriched. How? Radha and Krishna's girlfriends fully extend and increase their loving pastimes. That was a quote from Ujwala Nilaman. The Sakis sweetly tell Radha about Mohana's love for her. And they tell Mohana about Radhika's great love for him when they are separated from each other. And thus, they increase their loving attachment for each other. They help them to meet each other. They cause the heroine to become angry with the hero, to increase the hero's eagerness for her love. They make jokes. They encourage the Yuga Lakishore, deceive their superiors, and help in increasing their loving pastimes in innumerable ways. Without the help of the Sakis, these pastimes cannot cause wonder. When Krishna 
the jewel of Rasikas, sees Radhika in this pensive mood. He understands what is on her mind and thinks to himself, Oh well, when she's so worried about her girlfriends, then there can be no more joy in our love place together. I'd better go and look for them. We can shortly just stop here before we continue because it's clearly explains Sama Sneha Gopis, Radhika's friends, and their special role in the loving pastimes between Radha and Mukha. And it said they increase their loving pastimes with their different behavior, supporting Radhika, giving her some advices, because sometimes in a serious way, sometimes in sarcastic way, sometimes in very jolly ways. And in one moment, Radhika started to think about her, uh, them, sorry. Because she understood they are my best friends. They are always think about my benefit. But in that moment, Krishna felt that she is not focused on him. That she becomes serious, passive. And in that moment, he is going out from the conjure. And Radhika <clears throat> is very serious in her feelings how to reward her girlfriend's sakis. And in other places is explained that she is trying to make arrangement that her girlfriends meet Krishna alone. And they voluntarily accept this proposal. But this is Saki Bhav. This is not the Manjari Bhav. Although the Manjaris are one kind of girlfriends of Radhika, younger, they will never accept such kind of proposal and Radhika will never think about them in such a way to give them rewards to be alone with Krishna. Even if she say and express this kind of proposal, she is doing like a joke to show everyone that Manjaris will never ever accept Krishna to touch them, embrace them, kiss them, and so on, and so on. And they will be very harsh to him in their rejecting him. But we can see here how Radhika is thinking about her girlfriends, and because of that, her 
mind just went a little bit from Mohan, and Mohan immediately understood it. Maybe he's exaggerating, <laughs> we can say. In his overactive, his overreaction is present in him. But he felt it. So, why I'm talking about this? Because this Taiba is the a fixed mood, is so essential in everyone's life. And it can happen only by Kripa, not by our own endeavor. Because many devotees, when we are listening this, we just maybe are not aware of these small details. But they are showing different bhavas. One sentence is in one bhava, another sentence is sub in another bhava. In sadhana deha, also we have to practice this more. Then we get the siddha. Yes. So if we our manjari sarup, we have to start with sadhak deha. Selfless to serve, not for in the mood of Sakhi Bhav or Gopi Bhav. You have to always practice in Sadat Deha also that I am a Dasi of that. Yes. How to practice that? We have to be careful in, for this attachment. I have a sadhak deha. If I have an attachment for my enjoyment, that is a sakhi bhav, gopi bhav, or body dances. In sadhak deha, if I am in family life, also this has to be in the mood of service. Nitya Siddha uh, 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 Sadhana Bhavine Jaha? No. Sadhana Bhavine Jaha Siddha De Paiveta. Sadhan, what I will think, I will get in Siddha Deha. And... Seva Sada Karupen Guru? Uh, Siddha Rupen? Seva Sada Karupen, Siddha Rupen, Chhatrahi, that is also Seva Sada Guru. Uh, I say you that But, and this is the Prem. Krishna Prem is only Atma Sukh Priti Vancha Dhare Kavana. Atma Sukh. For uh, my pleasure, I do something that is Kavana. So we understand Krishna Sukh Priti Vansha Dari Premna. Krishna is everywhere. In your wife also Krishna is there. In your child is also Krishna. There is no place where Krishna is not living. 
but not your desire that is will be karma is happen you do as a self service even in grihastas that is best. is all mahajans they make the kriya karta that to that you have to realize it how why they say that krishna sukh priti vancha dare prema atma sukh priti vancha dare kamna there are two things if you are love in krishna you see krishna everywhere and if you would love to your this principal you want to be result oriented means you want to be calm means you want to write your karma then you do that both are there this is my duty to take care of my wife my children what would give this is a krishna gift to me i will do that this is the grass sarshan so the so mahajan not try that uh, how to be understand this reality you are love with krishna i will see every place krishna you love with radha he sees everywhere for you today i am listening prabhu pad one person asked what is hare hare krishna what is the meaning he said krishna means krishna then he asked what is meaning of hare this is the energy of krishna mm-hmm. i don't know energy of krishna is radha that this is my foolishness but prabhu pad boldly said in public energy of krishna it takes time to understand and why energy is in the front to understand krishna how you can understand krishna without energy understanding so i don't understand the energy of krishna and i want to know krishna i don't believe in the energy of krishna and i know krishna very well foolish nobody can understand krishna without his energy Half knowing is no knowing. Okay, sorry. I am Prabhu Pad. I am listening all afternoon because my YouTube test come again. So I start Prabhu Pad to listen. I want to know what Prabhu Pad is telling. He never deviate. He say, "I never teach you not eat meat." He say like this: "Eat meat, but you have to know who is eating the meat. Four feet man, animals are eating meat. If you want to become animal, do it." He never stop him. very nicely explain about vegetarianism he says also killing you are taking sabji is also killing you are killing animal is also killing but different type of killing you kill who eat and how the mind happening you see that things behavior changing how this happen we believe in the grass and green thing and from well now people say vegan he said milk has to be is a protein <laughs> very nice but uh, out of track i am from <laughs> only thing was prabhupad was 
make me exciting, so I say you are a Radhika, and you are giving more higher thing. Sakhi bhav. Are what you will think, you will do that. If you think for Sakhi bhav, nature will come because you like Krishna. Sakhi bhav only like Krishna. Kupi bhav only like Krishna. Manjari only like Radhika. No business of outside for the anything from the Krishna, no business. They are very selfless. This has to practice in Sadhak Deha to develop the Radha Das. If I now become selfless, I have some interest behind that, nothing will happen. So, Gurudev, your instruction is always that we should practice this Manjari Bhava, like you said in the beginning, from Sadaka Vish. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, yeah. Because if we are inside of us, are hankering for Manjari Bhava, but outside behavior, qualities, thoughts, feelings are like uh, Sakis. Then Manjari Baba will never appear, and this yeah. is some kind of hypocrisy, actually. Yes. How they will appear? Because by, the, by God is Krishna. Yeah. When Radha will send her, then I get it. But Manjari no run for that. <laughs> this has to practice the sadhakta. And maybe we can say, Gurudev, that because of this wrong practice, bodily consciousness will become more stronger and stronger even. That is the point. So I cannot out from the body. Yeah. Make it desire. And I want to identify body. I see myself. Now I am coming to Haiti, I am not sick. I wake up at 2 a.m. and I have no problem with the health. Honestly, I say you, little problem, they bring jackets from Hong Kong to me. <laughs> I wear to um, eat my pain and this and then fine. Now I don't need massage even. I don't want to massage now. Ask to them. They want to massage me. I say, oh, yeah, man. They touch, I say, done. Because then, uh, mercy is coming to me. Well, my pain has gone before I go to bed. So I have nothing, no problem. Before I was taking oil massage, this is, this is, this massage, that. I don't take anything because I don't need it. Gurudev, in that way many devotees will lose their seva <laughs> <But to, laughs> by massaging you. I never say for my seva, I say to Radha on seva. I am yes, very but... proud of Prem Madhuri. She started doing so nice seva. Of Guru Kuncha. Mm. Beautiful Seva. She start doing in one, two days. Full time she is giving. You will not come to class. I am proud of that. Mm. You don't need this in the service. You have to fix full energy and mind and heart there. I am proud of her. This was my mistake, I know the service before. When she said to me that she wants to be Pujarin, I said, yes, go to the pool. Yeah. This desire is beautiful. Yeah, go on, sorry. I didn't make 
very nicely explained. I never see this point clearly. I'm very honored that Sakib Bhav is also here. Broom, we are the broom. You open very, is it all Guru Kripa? So your okay. mouth coming is a Guru Kripa. This is not Gauranga Sunda. Guru Dev is talking through you. Yes, Guru Dev. Your heart is talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Always say like this. Mm. And you see how you will feel connection. And we will meet one place again in Radha Seva. I also want to go there to serve my Gurudev. And if you come as a helper to me, then I will be more service. I can Good. serve. There is I no do. other desires. I don't care for anything else. Please, devotees give us the Pray mercy. for me that I know deviate my mind and desires other places. Thank you. Mm. Mm. But she, yes, he goes out of the kunja in search of the sakis, but just after he left, the sakis come up from the other side and meet with Radhika. Seeing that Mohana does not return, Shrimati thinks, tonight there is rasa dancing and the forests are filled with thousands of beautiful Raja Gopis. Surely that king of womanizers must have met some other heroine. Thinking like this, Shrimati becomes jealous and angry, Manini. Shirupa Goswami says in Ujvalani Ramani that this mana is a result of pure love only. Fear cannot arise without affection and proud, jealous anger, man cannot rise without love. Therefore, mana reveals the love of both hero and heroine. Sasa, my Didi, Gurudev is asking yes. to repeat line. Yes. Fear cannot arise without affection and proud, jealous anger, mana, cannot arise without love. Therefore, mana reveals the love of both hero and heroine. Srimati engages her maidservants as gatekeepers and forbids them to allow Mohana to enter the Kunja. When Krishna returns to the gate, unable to find the Sakis, the Kinkaris at the gate forbid him entrance, saying, O king of womanizers, where have you gone, leaving our mistress? Swamini is angry, and you have no right to enter this grove. Go back to that girl where you have been. Go away from this gate. 
If you stay here too long, our Swamini will rebuke us. How many pitiful and anxious prayers to come into the Kunja, the peacock feather crowned Mohana, then offers to Shiradika's gatekeepers with folded hands. The Kinkaris do not leave their post for even a moment. Yes. Uh, sorry. Krishna's voice is anointed with humility as he prays with folded hands. Other than you, maidservants, I have no shelter. Make it clear to your Ishwari that she is angry for no reason. I did not do anything wrong. Only to please her, I went out to look for her girlfriend. Where should I go if your girls let me down now? Krishna is the supreme male, God himself. Although all the people of the world pray for his mercy, now he prays to Radhika's maidservants with folded hands. Blessed is the service of Radha. There is one sentence before which Rasamai read. And it's very clearly, he's saying how much Kinkari's Thai Bhav is fixed. And it's very visible in Alila. Rasamai gave me a short glance when she read it. The Kinkaris don't leave their post for even a moment. So even if Krishna approaches them, They are not leaving their post. Physically in Lila, but they are not leaving because they are so fixed in their love and loyalty to Shrimati Radharani. If Krishna approaches anyone with his tricks, sweetness, beauty, very smart words, he can move the person from his position. My dear, Krishna trick with his Maya, <laughs> Mahamaya. He is very cheeky. He, he used the Mahamaya yeah. to trick us. Yeah. He himself, not he. And he created the Mahamaya to use that to trick me, to trick all of us. It's a mercy of so many that because of Dasi, he cannot trick to the Dasi, the Radhika. Yes. Only Dasi, he cannot touch, he will not touch, and nothing can do. Because we are Radha Dasi, he can trick anyone. Because he has a very different, different um, Mahamaya energy. He's all the working for Krishna. Yes, good. We so cannot only, win. Huh? only firm shelter. 
Oh, Friday. That's the point, yeah. Firm. That is the only point. And the firm shelter of Brother Rani's maidservants. Yeah. Our, it's our hope. Otherwise, no chance to pass this test. That is the problem. That when we understand life will change. It is Guru Krapa. Takes time to understand. Love Matra Sadhu Sangit Savasiddhi Hai. Love a Matra. Means not book. Um, book has to remember only one word. If we practice Bhakti Vinod Thakur say, Radha Dasi Hoi Abhiman. I am a pride of Radha Radha Dasi. Sigma he may go He will come with the pickup feather. Not like a supreme personality of God. Radha Dasi. Mercy of Rasomni, she accepts us, marked us. It's amazing how in just this sentence, everything is present. Kinkaris don't leave their post for even a moment. All, everything. All Rasa, Manjari Bab, all relationships which Manjaris have with Radharani, all Rasa, all Tattva, everything is in just essence. Essence of everything is in this sentence. Never give up the post, even when he approaches the Krishna. Krishna is all philosophy written for Krishna. And this Krishna is massaging to Radhika. Automatic Dasi knows everything. Be becoming Dasi. Why I go to study? Only become Dasi and he is also trying to request Dasi. All comes automatically with it. But they are not proud of that. Because it's they are dark. This, they want to be in that. This amazing. is amazing yeah. of this bubble asarati, Gurudev. This is amazing of this bubble asarati. They subdue Krishna, but still no proudness. No proudness. No. Wow. Then, mercy, Guru Kripa, happen in our life. I think that is, I am not qualified for that. Guru Dev gives mercy to No, after one month, I don't know what he is giving. And one day morning come, and he said, My Radharani sent to you to give something. Bring pen and paper and write down. What? Where is it? Get this much. Who can do that? He give one concert to me. Take it. Money will automatically come to you. You don't need to bother. You will be like a king always. You don't bother to service. You never leave Vrindavan. That's it. You see? Unexpected mercy come, I can say you. I cannot. When I check myself, 
I was unqualified. So much unqualified, you cannot believe that. My. This, this is the way, but Gauranga Sundar is telling this is the only way. Go on, buddy. go on. <laughs> Say more. Master, may you please read more Baba's words. Hmm. How many pitiful and anxious prayers to come into the Kunja, a peacock feather crowned Mohana that offers to Shiradharan's gatekeepers with folded hands. Blessed is the service of Radha. Srimad Rupa Goswami prays. O Queen of Vrindavan, I pray for your mercy again and again. Let me be the object of even Keshi Ripu's, Krishna's pitiful prayers. This service of Shirada is the special mercy of Sriman Mahaprabhu. The Kinkar is only like Mohana because he is Shiradika's lover. They don't have independent love for him. If Krishna makes any trouble, they will kick him out of the kunja without the permission of Srimati Rupa Manjari and her maid servants. Mohana cannot enter Radhika's groves. What to speak of touching her body? This is the indescribable greatness of Radhika's maidservant. When the maidservants see how anxious Mohana is, they allow him to enter the Kutja. They don't need Radharani's permission because they know that although she is angry with him, she is also anxiously waiting for him. Mohana knows that Srimati will soon give up her peak when he has pleased her girlfriends and her maid servant. Thus, Rasika Shiromani, Krishna, the crown jewel of romantics, enters the kunja and dispels the unfavorable mood of Rasika Mani, Shri Radhika, the jewel of romantic girls causing a slight smile to appear on her beautiful face like a thin, sweet line. The king of romantics becomes absorbed in his love place with his heart's beloved. Holding her in his jewel like heart. Seeing this sweet pastime, 
Shripad, who now appears as an adolescent girl, says, Shri Radha is the jewel in Krishna's heart. Shiradika's sweetness and beauty is manifest to the utmost when she plays with Mohan. Srila Raghunadas Goswami writes in Vishakananda Stotram. Sri Radha shines like a golden Yuthika vine, entwining a beautiful black Tamala tree, and as wonderful steady lightning wine in the fresh Govinda rain cloud. The word Rasa Nidhi in the text can also mean she who is an ocean of Rasa. In this case, Radhika makes her lover happy by immersing him in the waves of her wonderful, sweet, amorous Rasa. Suddenly, the transcendental revelation disappears and Sri Padahamdi prays, Am I at all qualified? For this precious position of peace to become the broom for sweeping the yard of her play cottage in the forest kunjas of Vrindavana as a service to those fortunate souls who are qualified to be her maidservants. Of course, by her grace, everything is possible. Let me sweep the dust that falls from merciful Sri Radhika's foot soles. Thus ends the verse 8. Let me sweep the dust that falls from merciful Shiradika's food songs. Okay. Hello, Adirade, everyone. Thank you very much, Rasame, for your reading. It was so refreshing <laughs> for all of us. How she yeah. appeared? By the mercy, Gurudev. Wow. Without it, without I was missing endeavor. you. I was missing yeah. you too much. Ras, my how Ras will come by here? <laughs> Only by your association, Gurudev, and association of devotees. You have to keep it. How beautiful your father and mother. Always we are talking. Yes. Very beautiful person. Very humble. Very kind. Yes. My great fortune to come in their home.
No, I I was just a little um, wondering because until now I thought first we have to understand tattva then we can enter lila but today you're saying that first we meditate on lila then all tattva will come clear nice for this you see this is the lila today all tattva is there so one thing i was when we are meditating we have those who know that radhika is bam madhya no guru dev that's her nature mm-hmm. so i was just thinking how to meditate always on this bam madhya what does it mean so i can look up in the scriptures but when we meditate on this leela what we heard today how she is in peak and at the same time she is in man but also anxious to meet mohan then this is her bam madhya nature no guru dev yeah that the mass that she can be a big and soft at the same time but the who is because she knows that Krishna is mine and who the sakhi is and the gopis know that Krishna is not mine i am yours chandravali said I am yours. I am your wife. I am yours. I love her. I am this. Then you have to take care of me. Then I am yours. So he's more caring. Madha angering, anger. But I, my right, we have to take care of me. This is what is this? This is. the mood of the would we say i am yours and radhika say you are mine this is the difference of radhika you are my krishna i will be angry with you i will fight with you but they think i am yours i will not leave you i will give so much happiness i will not fight with you because i know that you are not mine I'm yours, right? You have to care. I have to care nicely that you you not become angry to me. But Radhika, become angry. I know that you will go, but again come back to me. This is mine. You are mine. Your mind, Radhika has only this Madhanakya Mahabhav, and one is Mahabhav, Madhanakya Mahabhav, and one day we are listening Madhanakya Mohan Bhav, Mohan. right you remember madanakya mad mahabhav am madanakya what was the word madan mohan 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 mahabhav yeah this Mohan Mahabhav, means always I feel separation for you because I always thinking for you. Don't you mind it? And this is the most higher, more than Madhanakya. Madhanakya Mahabhav is higher than Mohan Mahabhav. So that is my Mohan. <laughs> I don't know the meaning of my Mohan. That they understand. Who always feeling, living in that feeling.
Gurudev. Can I share one very short what I felt in the when we are reading? Yeah. Is there is one line? It says Mohana knows that Srimati will soon give up her peak when he has pleased her girlfriends and her maidservants. Wow. And how did he please his her girlfriends? He pleased because he went to search for them. And this is how he pleased them. And how he pleased the maidservant by begging for Radharani's association is how wow. he pleased maid. Wow. Feeling. Yeah. Jai Radhe. You see, your mother very good so. Twenty-four hour he she's in mad. You see gathers comb her hair. She become mad in painting and in bow. She not no time for other things. And your father is Paramahansa. <laughs> Great souls you are there. And you are the daughter of that. So it will come to you. This is your attitude, my dear. Sri Rasi. That is our Supreme previous star. You know, Gopinath grandmother. Pure Vaishnavi. She is worshipping Radha Krishna Mukti, Radha Mohan, and now Gopinath is worshipping. You see that? So this is tradition. It comes from in the blood is coming. I see the Gopika grandmother, she is living in, always in the feeling. I am so enlightened lady living in the Norway, I never see any. And she comes, old lady, she was so friendly with me, I cannot, she never forget me, I never forget. So nice. So this coming to them, this is so quickly. Hmm? Gift. Hmm. Bad. But Above this is Radha Dasi. But today explaining Garanya. Beautiful Garanya. Beautiful. Thank you. Two, three minutes late. Always say. Here in the Christian language also, give the classes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Expand more. 
more places and more time and give the time to others to all the scripture in fruition revive this without after this you need chaitanya chaitamrit and bhagavad gita to understand again is important to start again bhagavad gita prabhupad chaitanya chaitamrita and all the scripture what they understand now they will understand more crystal clear please do it in crucial language yes guruji inspired others to do that yeah right right yes so the right way to every devotee is hard so do who is suffering they can find the right way <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Guru. Thank you. That you appear in our life. How the world can no, no. happen? I'm What not saying. Just Prabhu Pad say, and my Guru Dev say that you have to travel a whole world to combine it for this subject, and then it happens in classes. <laughs> Dev, you are sitting in yeah. one place and you are traveling all around the world <laughs> <laughs> in the same time. <laughs> This is Nitai Kripa, Antare Nitai, Bahire Nitai. <laughs> yes, Guru Dev. You are going to Switzerland or not? Yeah, I suppose you will meet. Again, you will see Prashant Bhaiya yes, inspired really. him. Yes, and Rasila is also there. Yes. Who's them to think? Who's them to sit and listen you? Yes. Yes, Rasila. Radhe Radhe Guru Dev. Radhe Radhe Devotees. Thank also, you very much. Also, I will tell you, my one of the best person. I know the Switzerland is super. Yes, is you have to be very close and inspire him to share that. Please, my he is my best, best person. Some yes, he's so God nice. Make the problem to him. Bring out from that. Yeah. Please do this. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Ram.